the hermit kingdom's athletes could be stunned if they come across the statue of a boy named Lee Sung Bok while competing at the Winter Olympics, as Kim Jong Un seeks to keep his story hidden. Lee was a nine year old boy who was murdered and mutilated by North Korean soldiers when they tried to attack the South and establish guerrilla camps in the Taibak Mountains. The raids were carried out after being ordered by Kim Il sung, the founder of North Korea and the grandfather of Kim Jong un. Related articles Furious North Korea hits out at America's defamation campaign Could North Korea launch new missile today as birthday gift? Lee was immortalized as an icon against North Korea in South Korea's rivalry against the totalitarian state because he shouted I hate communists and refused to pledge allegiance to Kim Il-sung before dying at the hands of his repressive forces. However, what may now scare Kim Jong-un is the fact that the memorial to Lee and his family is placed a little over an hour's drive from the Olympic Park in Pyeongchang where North Korean athletes are competing. There is a statue dedicated to him at the Lee Sung Bok Memorial Center, which was built in 1982, just south of what was his family home. Lee's understood to have died during the torture on the night of December 9, 1968. His family was quizzed on whether or not they supported Kim Il sung and if they preferred North or South Korea. His siblings Lee Sung Soo, aged 7, and Lee Sung Ju, 4, and his mom Ju Ha, 33, were reportedly killed before the soldiers from the South could arrive. The raids mark some of the most violent clashes since the Korean War. A North Korean special forces unit are believed to have been the responsible for Lee's killing as they led the incursion, which lasted until December 26. Whilst Lee's story is taught to children in South Korean schools, it is ignored by North Korea. North Korea will continue to hope the story of Lee receives less attention as relations between the Hermit Kingdom and South Korea appear to have improved during the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. During the Games, the South's leader Moon Jae-in even welcomed an invitation to talks in Pyongyang, offered by Kim Jong-un himself. The Hermit Kingdom has come out of its shell to participate in the Games which have included high-profile visits from the Supreme Leader's sister Kim Yo-jong and the North Korean cheerleading squad, as well as an inter-Korean hockey team who walked under a unified flag. Related articles North Korea, shocking Korea apologist brutally torn apart by Fox host North Korea latest. Donald Trump's strike on Kim to kill millions Winter Olympics 2018, North Korea figure skaters snub question.